is Sinclair. Um, I go by Legal Priest. This is a pretty simple unboxing video of something called the Mega SG. I know this isn't the usual movie stuff we're uploading, but I just thought this would be an interesting little extra thing. Now, what this is, is uh, it's basically a console, like a Sega Genesis. It is a, uh, you know, like how there's a lot of emulation of machines now, or uh, people playing games. That's kind of what this is. It uses something called an FPGA chip, so it actually acts like the hardware of a Sega Genesis. Uh, so it's not emulation, it's cycle accurate, it's kind of its own thing. This is called the Analog Mega SG. It's a newer thing. It, it, it basically is a like a Genesis, a Master System, the SG-1000, a Game Gear. It's basically all those Sega things, plus even a ColecoVision once you get it hacked. Um, this specific model is a special edition. Sorry, this one's a special edition. Um, it's one that's called the Hyperdub Edition. It has to do with a... Uh, music company record label and it's kind of uh, themed after them and has a couple of extra special perks to it um, one thing about this is it's very usable with HDMI and things of that nature uh, instead of using uh, an old CRT things like that and I just I've only seen one other video of this unboxing there's just not many unboxing videos of it it's a small community it's something I like though and there may be some people somewhat interested in it. Uh, these things run about $200. This one in particular was $250, $275 with shipping because it has a controller with it. You're not buying it separate. A couple little things like that. And we're going to unbox it. We're going to see what some of those things are. But basically, if you consider like, uh, you know, a little emulation type box, like a Hyperkin or something, you know, a, a basis or maybe some of the cheap Chinese raspberry pi type thing or something you know an emulation to play games this is like the bmw of that because you know emulation what it's doing is it's retranslating code it's basically telling uh, a chip in a computer of like this is how you read the code that's on the cartridge and reinterpreting it uh what this is doing it's it's natively understands the code and where to put it when it comes to like essentially separate processors even if it's w within the same field programmable gate array thing from what i understand it'll hand it separately if it needs separate positions of it used um and this is put out by what is the company uh analog and so this is the the coloring scheme for this specific edition i don't know if you can really see there's kind of a, I don't know, quite an embossing or an indentation of the analog logo. So if you see, like, this is the logo. There's kind of an embossing, and I can't really get that to pick up on camera, but it's there. It's like, there's the circle, and there's the bigger one. It's actually kind of heavy. It's very nice, though. So we're opening up the box. I've just barely looked in this for, like, a half second because I just, I took the cellophane off, but that's it. So it has kind of a protective padding in the in there. It just seems very high quality. This is the model I got. It's definitely, it comes in different colors. Like if you wanted it like a theming of, let's say, a Japanese Genesis, Sega Genesis, it would have like white and blue. I think it is the, the Japanese one. White and red, I would say, would be the... American one stuff like that and then usually it's just black. There's a white model too that looks kind of nice I saw another person's unboxing video. They had, they had a white one with a blue Sega sticker. That was pretty cool so we're Taking off the nice Protective coating and it has the analog logo there You might not be able to okay. You can kind of see it in mine actually pretty good it's actually somewhat see-through and smoky. Now, I normally don't like see-through things, but with the color scheme, I actually really like this a lot. That kind of, like, yellow gold. I really like things that are, like, industrial or cyber cyberpunk gothic. This kind of fits that. Um, you have two controller ports. 
So that's uh, for generally Sega Genesis. I want to say there's a couple other controllers that might work with it. You have a headphone jack, which that's kind of their nod to the old Genesis stuff. I think it's a power and reset button there. And this was kind of the design that was to make it seem kind of like Genesis-y. And then you have the cartridge port. Um, in this specific model sense, this one's kind of see-through. That's kind of the smokiness, but then you have a completely clear outside, so you can kind of really see the hardware in there. And there's not much. It's basically just like a chipboard or something, what do you call it? A motherboard. It's not, there's not much in there, per se. And then you got the HDMI part, port, the power jack, more logo. So it's pretty basic. The next thing we got in here is these protective coverings. This is an 8 bit do, I don't know if it's 8 bit do or do controller. It's themed exactly like that. So that's kind of cool. It just fits the look of everything. So it's slightly transparent, but still smoky. And this is supposed to be, um, you know, faster than Bluetooth. I forget what the Bluetooth spec is, but it's, it's rated to have much higher milliseconds. You know, it's just kind of the, um, faster spec, you know, like 2.4 gigahertz or something like that. So it doesn't work everything with, that works on Bluetooth, but it has its own dongle. I'm not sure everything that it works with, but it, it's supposed to have some programmable ability like, uh, what do you call it? Auto fire, because I'm going to be playing a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Streets of Rage with this in particular. I, I want to not necessarily hit the button a million times. So I wanted that functionality. So supposedly this works pretty, pretty good. It feels good. It feels good in the hands. It feels like some of my more favorite, like, I would say Genesis or a uh, Saturn controller almost. Slightly clicky, but not completely. This, the D-pad seems decent, uh, you know, but that's also something that over time I'll have to assess like with fighting games and stuff. But definitely the buttons feel great. I don't know if it lights up or not. I kind of don't care if it lights up, but you know. Ooh, it looks like the battery does work on this. Maybe it's a rechargeable battery. Yeah, I don't see, I guess I see a I don't see a part where I don't see a direct battery control, so I think it's a rechargeable battery. Now this next part's the part that got me to buy it. It's actually the cartridge. So when I was first looking at models of these, I was thinking, well, I'm going to jailbreak this and I'm going to use ROMs. And then I was like, okay, well, what would the cartridge... I, I kind of still wanted a cartridge in it like so. Then I was like, with the coloring, what would the cartridge I want? And, you know, cost would come into effect. Because I just wanted a good something good aesthetically. And then I saw this model. I was like, oh, this comes with its own cartridge. It fits its own aesthetic. And I can still jailbreak it. And it'll just pretty much permanently be like that. So that's kind of cool. But this cartridge, which also keeps up all the same aesthetic, uh, it has an album. And this is what the the hyper dub has to do with is this record label that this album has to do with their record label and their artists, I guess, or specific remixes. It's supposed to be, this is exclusive to this. And I saw in somebody else's video, there's a SD card in there. So if this is easily openable, I don't know if this might be able to work as a flash cart. I am not sure. I don't really want to break this if it's impossible to open without completely breaking. So I probably won't be opening this, but that's just really cool that it, it fits the whole aesthetic of everything. Um, there's not much too much else here. There's obviously, you know, USB, charge the controller. Um, this is kind of, I guess this has to do with the Hyperdub label, label too. It's like a pendant and it's like their, their mascot. Oh, it's really nice, actually. I think it's called, like, the Triple Ear. Something like that. So it's kind of like a cat. It, it does look cool. I think I might need some better lighting to see it personally. I almost see it through the, through the camera better than I can see it in person, the way my lighting is in this room. So, we'll see. I'm, you know, I may not like it over time. I think it's actually more of a keychain. I don't really do keychains. I usually keep my keys in my wallet. So I might not have much use for this. But it's still cool. Maybe I'll find a way to hook it 
onto the side of the system or something goofy like that. <clears throat> and the next piece, oh, this, this part's funny. This is for, to put, if you have a Sega CD unit, you put this here because this isn't tall enough to fit in with the Sega CD because this does actually work with the Sega CD from what I understand. It does look like right there. I guess I don't want to mess with it too much. It does look like that comes off on that side. So this is the SD card port and this comes out. Oh, it actually does look pretty easy. I just can't necessarily do it in front of the camera without moving the camera. Okay. And that goes into the Sega CD. And so it sits on the side, but it's just not quite tall enough to fit in perfectly. This little spacer makes it fit. It's still supposed to not look awesome, but you know, it's something. Uh, with time, I'm gonna place it back on later. Um, looks like here is the semi-instruction manual slash, like this is kind of what the special, the product is. It talks about the album, the company. Um, they definitely have like, you know how Apple kind of has like, we're the, you know, aesthetic and the BMW of electronics products. This is kind of like that for emulation or, you know, retro gaming. It's like the nice BM, you know, BMW would be the nice brand or Ferrari. It's kind of like that. Um, now this thing is supposed to take Master System games natively. This is the Master System adapter. So I haven't taken the adapter out of its controller, but we'll just fit in there. And you just see there's some wrapping on it. Um, if you jailbreak it, it's supposed to play Game Gear SG-1000 as well. And you just put all that stuff on your card, I guess, on your SD card. And really isn't too much else. You have the power plug, or whatever the power USB universal adapter to put that in for the power. And then you have the HDMI, because this... Is HDMI, you can get a DAC adapter for, you know, other types of things like a, a CRT television. I'm not against CRTs, but that's just not what I got this for. I got this for, you know, super nice pixels on an HD TV, being able to pick if I want square pixels or uh, have them right sized where I have, uh, you know, some pixel blending just only on the horizontal and not the vertical some things like that a lot of settings i like the fact that when you're hearing the audio on this it's the native yamaha chip it almost sounds too good if that makes sense you might want to do some settings change some settings if you want it to sound how a genesis sounds in your youth if that makes sense uh, because this will sound better it's just the pure digital signal and some of the old genesis's didn't always give out the greatest audio and then you know you're just you're getting it piped in differently so this is going to be like the pure chip signal so it's going to sound almost too good I'm very interested in that I might I'll probably keep it sounding that nicely but that's basically it Hyperdub Mega SG 250 plus shipping approximately but it comes with everything you need with you know the 8-bit dope controller and everything so really the value stays about the same as compared to just buying the 190 unit by itself. It's very, very similar value prop proposition because you're going to be buying another controller anyway. So, thank you for that. We're done here. Have a good day.